Hello and welcome everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in this video we are going to uh, draw the projection of a circular lamina. Now the dimension, basically diameter uh, of the circle is given. Diameter is 50 mm and its plane is, is vertical and inclined at 30 degree to the vertical plane and perpendicular to the HP. So basically uh, we can say that front view of this particular uh, circle will be a circle itself and top view will be a line. Okay. Now, the information about uh, center is that its center is 30 mm above HP. So, basically, if we are drawing the front view, uh, the center of this particular circle, it will remain 30 mm above the XY line and its top view, it will be 20 mm below the XY line. So, that information is given. Now, again, uh, basically, in this type of questions where uh, the plane is inclined to one particular uh, horizontal principal plane horizontal or vertical plane we will have to draw this particular diagram in two stages so in first one we will assume that this uh, circle is parallel to vp and perpendicular to hp and in the next case basically in the next stage we are going to rotate the uh, circular plane by 30 degrees so basically we will have to rotate the top view because it will be a line okay so without further delay let's start drawing it so uh, i'm going to select x line and i'm going to start it from 0 comma 0 and let's take the angle as 0 degree now to draw the first stage what i'm going to do is i'm going to select circle using center and diameter and i'm specifying the uh, center point as 0 comma 30 because we know that uh, this uh, center is 30 mm above hp so basically this will be this uh, circle and its diameter is 50 mm so basically this will be the circle okay the next thing that i'm going to do is in case of a circular drawing what we will have to do is we will have to uh, divide that circle into eight equal parts six or eight equal parts depending on uh, the suitability so to divide it I'm going to use construction line as again now draw lines at 0 and 180 then at uh, 45 and like this so basically these are the divisions that we wanted and trim the non required lines okay whatever is left we are going to remove them manually okay now this line we are going to need it press enter so basically this is the this uh, ray is again needed now in order to draw the uh, top view of this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw projection lines again from all of these points okay so repeat ray start from these corners and draw them like this now here as well we need a ray okay parallel like this repeat the same ray command draw it from here in this side we have repeat start from this point and draw it repeat start from this point and draw it now we have uh, this particular line now what we can do is uh, basically we will have to uh, find out the distance okay before that let's delete it because we don't need it now what we need is uh, we need to draw the uh, top view of this particular circle so top view will be a line and what should be the location 20 mm from the xy line because 20 mm in front of vp so basically the top view of this particular circle it will be 20 mm away from the xy line so that information we have now what i'm going to do is i'm going to start a line measure 20 mm in this side press enter and draw a line like this okay so this is the top view of this particular projection now I'm going to uh, trim the non-required portion of these rays like this. Now in this side, we don't need this portion, this portion. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to keep the division only. And let's remove these sections which are causing a little bit confusion with us. Okay. So from every single division, we have these projection lines. Okay. Now select these rays and these lines and change their color so that 
we can uh, identify these uh, exact points what i'm going to do is uh, basically increase the thickness of uh, this these projections these main projections that we have so instead of by layer increase their line weight to 0.4 if it's not visible go to line weight settings click on display line weight and select 0.4 again and click ok so basically this is the projection that we needed now the next thing that we need to do is we are going to mark the points on these uh, projections so uh, basically these colors are also let's draw them differently okay now basically we need to mark the points okay so i'm going to use m text command go to multi line text specify a text box and i'm going to select it from uh, let's say we are dividing it by using numerical numbers so just decrease its size from 13 to 3 and then place this number here now this is front view okay so basically instead of one we should have one dash okay so that's our front view now start it copy it and paste it at different location this should be two dash so change it to two dash now this point this one should be three dash double click and change it to three dash why we are applying dash here because this is the front view that's why we are taking it we are writing in form of dash values so double click and change it so one dash this should be four dash after that next point this one will be five dash double click change it to five dash this point this one should be six so double click and write six dash after that this one should be seven dash and last point will be okay one two three four five six seven and last point will be eight dash so basically this is the eighth point now after you have placed all of these digits okay this does not seem a little okay so what i'm going to do is uh, if you want to change the background you can uh, change it from uh, options from here okay go to options let's this is creating a little bit uh, disturbance so go to colors and change it click apply and close click apply and click ok now we have placed these points the next thing that we need to do is we need to place these points at these uh, points as well here as well okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, write a number here now this is top view so we don't we do not need dash here okay so this point it should be point number eight okay so i'm placing eight here at uh, at this point okay copy it and paste it here and this should be one and seven so write it as one space seven after that the next point this should be two space six two space six then later on next one will be 3 space 5, 3 space 5 and what will be the next point? Next one will be 4. So write it as 4. Now what we need is basically we have received this uh, top view but we don't know these division points okay we need uh, another ray so select ray and uh, specify its thickness as 0 comma 0 and draw it like this we are going to copy this particular line so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use point command and i'm going to mark these points okay po enter now right now you are not seeing these points they will be visible after you change the point type okay so 
I'm going to change the point type as well. So for that, use p type command, press enter, and uh, change this point type and change this size to 2. Now take a look. This is the divided line. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this particular line and all of these points. Okay. So we are going to use blue selection for that. Okay. Now copy it, take this point as the base point and paste it somewhere like this one. Okay. And press enter. Now we are going to rotate this view. Why we are going to rotate it? Because, uh, okay, let's change its color first. Now we need to rotate it because just take a look what information we have this is inclined at 30 degree to the vertical plane and location of center is fixed so basically we need to rotate about this particular point okay so select this particular view click on rotate specify this point as the base point and specify rotation angle as 30 degree and press enter so this is the view that we needed to rotate now this is our main XY line. So I'm going to increase its thickness as well. Now select ray, press enter, start a ray from this point and uh, change its color to blue. Ray, enter, start it like this, press enter. Repeat the same ray command, start it from here like this. Repeat ray, start from this point like this. Repeat ray, start from this one like this. Repeat it, start it and place it like this. Now we have got these intersection points. Okay, so what we are going to do is we will have to uh, basically mark or find out these points. Okay, so right now I'm just copying these points and we will be placing them. Okay. So select this one as the copy point and paste it like this, press escape. So you have got an idea about where should we place these points. So basically this one dash should be here. Now this eight dash, it should be somewhere here. This seven dash, this point, it should be at this particular location. Now we don't have another ray, so we needed to draw it from here as well. Now this six dash, it should be somewhere here. Now five dash point, this one should be here. Four dash, this one should be here. Then three dash should be here. So we need to draw an ellipse. Okay, so for that we are going to use ellipse command using axis ends. Okay, so specify this. We can use uh, the first option as well. Use center and axis. So this is the center. Now end point of one axis will be this one another one will be this one now this is our main projection so we are going to change its color to black and change its thickness to 0.4 so this is how you can draw the projection now this is uh, the second stage so i'm going to basically make it as a subscript okay so select it and then copy it paste it in every single point to one dash then same option for this one so quite easy projection does not have any uh, I would say that typical thing in this one so we now all basic shortcuts that we use in our PCs they also work in this one make sure uh, the dash is visible Otherwise, the projection will not have any uh, significance if we are not able to tell which view is front and which view is top. Now, we are going to write, copy these points as well. So, you can copy it, specify this point as a base point and place it here, press escape and we are going to rotate these points as well. Okay, so how to rotate it? Rotate it using this particular point as the base point and like this. Okay. So, we can place these values in subscript, so just so that things are a little clearer, 2 1 dash, 6 1 dash, 3 1 dash and 5 1 dash, sorry 5 1 and 4 1. So this is how we can draw the 
projection. Now we can uh, provide dimension whatever we want by using normal dimension commands. So you can use uh, radius to specify the radius of this one. Now for this radius will not work. Now angle we can use angular dimensions. So we needed an angle between this particular line and this line, this line and this line. So uh, we can specify angle as well. Now this one is not working. The reason is basically this particular line that we have this is drawn using ray command so select a line okay select a line draw it like this use angular command specify this as the first line this is the second line and it will work okay so that's how we can draw the projection of this particular uh, projections needed in this one so trim the non required lines by using trim command and i hope you have understood and that's all for today. Thank you very much and have a nice day.